hello and welcome to this video in this video i'll show you how we can change debut themes header background color and also the icons color as well as the menu color so what that means is if you are using debut theme you can notice that if you if we go to header and if you notice that we have an announcement bar as well for the announcement bar we can control the color we can change the text color individually we can do that but for this header part we don't have any control here like if we want to change those white color to any other color we don't have any control in the theme customizer so there is few tutorial which showed how to do that with custom code but i will show you how as a user you can input the options inside your theme customizer just like the announcement bar has so we will have the same options like the announcement bar so we can control the colors right from our theme so it will look something like that so let me show you the final result so there is a store so you can see that in that area for header in the debut theme we have a background header background color so i can change the background color and also i can change only the icons color to a different color so let me pick black for only icons and also i can change the menu text color what will be my menu text color so let me choose a different color for menu as well so something that is uh, will be showed uh, in black as well so this is my menu color okay also i can choose a different color when i hovering the mouse as you can see so i can change it to white so now when i will hover the mouse it will show white color but in normal it is showing a red color okay so as you can see this is also a text it is changing according to the text but if you are using a logo so the, you don't have to worry about it so right now i am using a logo and also you can increase the logo width as well so this how we can control this so i'll show you how you can do it very easily you don't have to do any coding you will just need to copy paste few lines of code so you will find a blog links in the description just go to that links and just follow my guide what i am showing you in the video so to apply those changes in the in our themes what we need to do just go to your online store and then go to themes then i always highly suggest before doing any types of editing to your live theme just try to make a duplicate of the theme so you always have a duplicate copy of your current theme so if anything goes wrong you can revert back to your theme and also you can click on download theme which will send you a current version of your theme into your email so if anything goes wrong you can upload it later okay so then click on action then click on edit code click on edit code then what we will do just scroll down go to your sections and then open the header.liquid file okay then then our task is you will find the blog link in the description just go to that blog links and what we need to do is to just copy all the codes that you will see here okay just copy all the codes that you will see here copy all of them from top to bottom there will be a long lines of code and make sure you will copy all the codes to that second bracket of okay, everything in between the gray box then click on copy then go back to your header.liquid and scroll down scroll down scroll down and scroll down and you will find the option called and diff just click some enter and then you will find some option called end schema just select all the things from schema to all the bottom of the file okay then click back space to delete these codes okay then you will find option something like that that end diff and after this there is nothing then click ctrl b to paste all the codes that you have copied from the blog post okay copied from the blog post so then scroll back to recheck the options so you will find a here a new option called style and option called end style then there is a schema and there is in the below there is end schema then click save so if the save works and if it is saved without any error then that means you have copied the codes perfectly unless you have made some mistake if that if any mistakes happen just go back to the video and recheck once again okay then now come to our theme customizer option so these was these are the options right now so i'll make a refresh now so after making the refresh you will see that few option has now added and we can easily now change our header colors as well so let's 
come back to this section so you will find that there is some option is already added one is header background color so i will make it black okay then you will find some option only for the these icons so these are icons color so make them swipe so make them swipe so then there is another option which is only for the menu color so you can just select white for menu as well another option we have some menu hover color so if we hover the menu what color we wanted to show them so i wanted to show them red for just for example so you can see it is also working okay so here is another option which is sub menu background color so the sub menu background color this is only works if we have a sub menu item so let me add a sub menu item in our actual menu so i can show you what that means so let me go to the menu and add an item just for example so let me add this item click on add item and then i will just make it a sub menu of the buy now button and then i will click on save then come back and refresh so you'll find a sub menu has been added so if i click on sub menu you can see that there is a sub menu background color so i can change the sub menu background color as well but for some reason it is not working. so it is not working so make that work just go to again to the codes and then click on edit code <laughs> then go to header.liquid and just scroll down scroll down scroll down and you will find the option here called side nav catalog just delete them and paste this option which is side which is this dot side nav nav drop down so i'll just put the quotes in the blog link so you don't have to edit it if you just copy paste it will still work so just click save and now again refresh our editor once again so there was an issue which is not working the codes was not working so you don't need to make it the edit code in the header.liquid file i'll just put the codes in the blocks you can easily access it okay then if you scroll down if you scroll down and if you change the sub menu background color the background color will change and also sub menu colors is coming from this text color so this is how we can change the background color as well as the menu color from the team customer option so if that helps if that helps please smash the like button subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment as well thank you very much for watching the video